The tissue papers may really make me look like I'm doing something nasty over here, but that is not true. Are we fine? Are we good? Yes? Maybe? Whatever. As you have seen, I have recently gotten an iron and a an ironing board. I'm really happy about that. My uncle and his girlfriend were really nice to lend, uh, to give me one, or rather, uh, lend me an iron. And I, we got the iron board um, in the secondhand shop. So that was really awesome. And they are such, such, such good people. Like they are so giving, so giving. It's just like so amazing. I got several things. I got this bag and I'm not really a type of, I'm not really a purse person, but look at this. That is one compartment. That is two compartments. That it, those are three compartments. A zipper as well. And that's just like four compartments and this small bag. Now, I don't know if it's really going to fit a lot, but I feel like because it has so many compartments, it has so many opportunities. It doesn't have anything on it. Like, it's just a blue bag. And I thought, I can paint on this. I also got some tops. Plain, plain gray. Maybe I'm going to paint on this. And I also got like a blue tank top as well. Does that match? Girl! Okay. Maybe I can like paint something on this that will match this. I don't know. For my acrylic painting, uh, this is like flexi glass, I think. It's supposed to be a palette, so you just put your paint over there and you can just mix your paints freely. It's like a flat surface, so you really get to mix all the paint that you put in it and stuff. And you can like scrape off the paint when you're done, so that's what that's for. And they gave me food and stuff, and... They gave me snacks as well. These are meringues. So yeah, I'm really happy. They're super sweet. They're as sweet as these meringues. make a drawing that is I want to make a drawing that I can actually wear you know like it looks good either that or I'm just going to take something that I've drawn a long time ago that I, that's just lying around and use that I think I'm going to go with the gray one first because it's like it's a darker color 
I'm going to go on it with white paint. I saw a classmate of mine who first made a drawing and then used a light box right underneath so that she saw the drawing really well and could like really trace it in there. Her name is Hannah D. Want to follow her? Here is her Instagram. She's really awesome. And maybe I'm going to do the same uh, technique as well. Haha, <laughs> shitty voiceover. Okay, so here I was just looking for the right piece that I wanted to paint on the shirt. This setup was so freaking hard to set up. I cannot even. So that was the drawing. I got the drawing printed out. I got my light box and it's dead. I'm just going to take the top and put it just on top of the light box. I'm going to take the drawing and put it underneath. I can kind of see it. If I stretch it, you can see it. You can't see it, but I can. So I'm just going to tape this down. I'm gonna try taping the shirt down so it doesn't move around. So that took a while, a long while. I did not expect that it would take so long. This is how it turned out. To be honest, I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, I'm not used to seeing it inverted like this. I also did not try to invert the picture in the beginning. But at the same time, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna leave it like this and rest my eyes. I've probably been looking at it for too long as well that I'm just like, oh, oh. And if I keep touching it, I might ruin it, you know? So I'm just going to leave it like this. It actually looks good like that. It's like ice in real life, but yeah, maybe it's because I'm just looking at it a lot. Burp. As I was editing this, I did not realize that I made that I didn't make a proper outro for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. So I recently got that. It's good.